Prime and composite. Let's review factors. Factors are the small numbers in a multiplication problem. In this problem, three and four are the factors. 12 is the product or the answer. They are the numbers you can multiply together to get another number. These are all factors of 12. 12 has six factors, one, 12, two, six, three, and four. Or we could say that 12 has three factor pairs. Setting up a factor t-chart is a good way to find all the factors of a number. Let's look at the number 18. We can set up a t-chart by drawing a large letter T and writing 18 at the top. Now we can use this to help us find all of the factors of 18. We start at one and we think, is one times anything 18? Yes, one times 18 is 18. And actually I call this the freebie factor pair because for any number, one times the number itself is going to be a factor pair. And then we wanna go in order to make sure we don't miss any. So since we just thought about one, let's think about two. Is two times anything 18? Yes, two times nine is 18. So two and nine are also factors of 18. What about three? Three times six is 18. So three and six are factors. What about four? No, I can't multiply four by anything to get 18. What about five? No, five's not a factor of 18 either. What about six? Oh, I already have six on my factor t-chart. That's how I know I have all of the factors of 18. 18 has six factors or three factor pairs. 12 and 18 are both composite numbers because they have more than one factor pair. They each have three factor pairs. That makes them composite numbers. Seven is a prime number because it only has one factor pair, one and itself. Remember, I call that the freebie factor pair. There are no other numbers you can multiply together to get seven. To decide if a number is prime or composite, you have to think about how many factors it has. It's a good idea to set up a factor t-chart. Let's try using eight this time. We have the freebie factor pair, of course. One times eight is eight. And then we think about two. Two times four is eight. What about three? Can I multiply three by anything to get eight? No. How about four? Well, I already have four on my factor t-chart. That means I'm done. The factors of eight are one and eight and two and four. It has two factor pairs and that makes eight a composite number. Now let's look at five. I have the freebie factor pair one times five. Let's think about two. Is two times anything five? No. Three times anything? No. Four times anything? No. Five is already on my t-chart. So these are the only factors of five. It only has one factor pair and that makes it a prime number. Here are some helpful rules to remember when determining whether a number is prime or composite. One is neither a prime nor a composite number. All even numbers are composite except for the number two. Two is the only even prime number. Not all odd numbers are prime though. Nine, 15, 21, 25, 27, and many other odd numbers are actually composite. Just think about how many factor pairs they have. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.